Right, welcome to uh, Trench Please 3, morning of day two, name. and we're in a different field here. We're in the Eastern Vicus, which is the civilian settlement that sort of sprung up around the fort, off to the east of it. Um, and we've sort of got mixed results here, really. Uh, we have features and they correspond to the crop marks on aerial photography and to John's geophysics results, but the isn't as much left of them as we'd have liked. They seem to have been quite heavily truncated by ploughing. If you take a look over here, we do have what looks like a flanking ditch running along there. Possibly the remains of a road surface with some metalling over there and then natural on the other side. So this is all corresponding to what we expected, i.e. the road running sort of east-west across the Vicus, but there really doesn't look like there's much left of it. But while we're struggling away, the metal detectorist over there is coming up with loads and loads of really nice shiny things. If you like the shiny things, this is the trench to be, because uh, we've got all these coins. I mean, this is just what's come out in the half hour this morning, three coins. We had half a dozen out of here yesterday, all coming out sort of loose in the plough soil. But uh, they all pretty much seem to be quite tightly dated to the Middle, middle of the 4th century, sort of between 330 to 350 odd. Although we've had a couple of earlier coins. Um, but yeah, the detectorist is on fire. Hey, <laughs> hey Rob, he's just found another one. <laughs> he's just found another one. <laughs> this is unbelievable. We can't stop him. <laughs> we've run out of bags. <laughs> he's just going for it. He's just going absolutely I think nuts. we need to have more coffee to catch up. He's putting us to shame. <laughs> We're struggling away down here. He's turning up <laughs> coin after coin. It's ridiculous. Slow down over there. You're making us look bad. 